Hey, this is Rob from Top Career Consulting. On this channel, I explain how I established myself as a freelance writer and the tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So if that is something you are interested in, please subscribe down below, hit the bell notification, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, really would help me support the channel and keep producing some good videos and content that might be useful to you as you um, strive to succeed in your freelance career. So I've broken down this information into some bite-sized chunks of knowledge. So there'll be quick videos to hopefully allow you to blow through and actually gain something and take away and utilize in your freelance writing or freelance careers. So today we're gonna to talk about keywords and keyword phrases. So understanding keywords and understanding how to conduct some keyword research is extremely important as a writer. It is a crucial skill for SEO copywriting, SEO blog writing, and any type of um, website marketing is understanding keywords and keyword phrases. So the goal as a freelance writer or marketer is to actually get organic traffic to the website you're trying to promote. So the specific keywords you try to target will actually determine the traffic or organic traffic that you will actually receive on your website. So in today's video, as well as in the next few videos, we're gonna discuss um, keywords and keyword research and how to um, complete it effectively. So what is a keyword? A keyword is a central idea, concept, or theme that you build your article, your website, um, any type of copy around. So it's sometimes called a focus keyword or a long tail keyword phrase. So it's the word that best speaks to the content of the article, blog, or website that you're trying to create. So ultimately it is the search term that you or someone else would type into Google to search for that type of article or whatever that you're looking for. So for example, a keyword could be keto or ketogenic diet. And those are words that you might type into Google to find a diet plan that might fit your need. So that is a short, very specific keyword. Or you could type a long tail keyword that might be ketogenic diet for someone in their 30s. And ketogenic diet for someone in their 30s is going to be easier to rank and actually easier for you as a blogger or writer to gain traffic to the area that you're trying to go, whether it's your website, a blog, an article, or whatever it may be. So a keyword phrase is simply a keyword that's written as an expression. So it's a question or phrase that someone might type into the, into the Google search bar to actually answer a question or try to be more specific on a, on a detailed topic. So instead of just writing keto in the Google search bar, you might write how to start a keto diet or you may start keto diet for someone over the age of 30. So when writing your article it is good to use long tail keyword keywords or keyword phrases and you will write this multiple times throughout your article to make sure that the content is based around that specific keyword or keyword phrase that you're using. So you want to be very deliberate on where you use your keyword or keyword phrases throughout the content that you're producing. So some main areas that you want to put your keyword phrase or keyword are in the main title, in the very first paragraph, evenly distributed throughout the article, utilized in subheadings, in the meta description, and strategically placed anywhere else in the article to make sure that content is fully surrounded in uh, on that topic. So strategic placement of that keyword or keyword phrase really is important so your um, article will rank in SERP in the Google algorithm or any other search engine. And as we covered it in the last video, SERP means search engine results page. So as a freelance writer, your client may provide you a list of keywords that they wanna use, or they may ask you to actually search for the best keyword that will help rank their website or rank their article that you are writing. But oftentimes clients would prefer that you as an expert in your field do the actual research to provide them a rankable um, keyword or long tail keyword or phrase that you can use to rank their um, article. So in the next video, we will talk about more of how to actually perform that search. So if that's something that interests you, please stay tuned for the next video. So that's the basics around keywords and that's gonna be all for today's video. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. So if you're interested in continuing to sharpen your SEO skills and advance your career as a freelancer online, please subscribe again down below, hit that like um, button, turn on that bell notification so you get all my new, my new videos right away and uh, drop, drop a comment, I'd really appreciate it and help support the channel. And hopefully you'll gain a little bit out of the information that we continue to talk about. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thanks.